Hello everyone. Welcome to Analog IAS. Today's topic is writ petitions. Both Supreme Court under Article 32 and High Court under Article 226 can issue writs. Now, let us discuss the writ petitions one by one. First is habeas corpus. It is an order issued by the court to a person who has detained another person to produce the body of later before it. The court then examines the cause and legality of detention. It can be issued against both public authorities and private individuals. This writ cannot be issued when detention is lawful, the proceeding is for contempt of legislature or a court, and when the detention is by a competent court, and when the detention is outside the jurisdiction of that court. Next is mandamus. It is a command issued by a court to a public official asking him to perform his official duties that he has failed or refused to perform. It can be issued against any public body, corporation, inferior court, tribunal or government. But it cannot be issued under certain circumstances. They are against a private individual or to enforce departmental instruction that does not possess statutory force. Next, when the duty is discretionary and not mandatory. Next, to enforce a contractual oblig obligation. Next, against the President of India or State Governors. And finally, against the Chief Justice of High Court acting in judicial capacity. Next, writ is prohibition. It is issued by a higher court to a lower court to prevent the latter from exceeding its jurisdiction or usurping a jurisdiction that it does not possess. Unlike mandamus that directs activity, prohibition directs inactivity. It is issued only against judicial and quasi-judicial authorities. It is not available against administrative authorities, legislative bodies and private individuals. Next is Serishari. It can be issued by higher court to a lower court to transfer a case pending before it or to squash the order of inferior court. It is issued on the grounds of excess of jurisdiction or lack of jurisdiction. Unlike prohibition which is only preventive, Serishari is both preventive and curative. It can be issued against judicial, quasi-judicial authorities and administrative authorities affecting rights of individuals. But it is not available against legislative bodies and private individuals. Finally, cure warranto. It is issued by court to inquire into legality of claim of a person to a public office. It can be issued only to a public office created by statute or by the constitution. It cannot be issued against ministerial office or private office. Unlike the other four wits, this can be sought by any interested person and not necessarily by aggrieved person. Now, let us see a question based on this. Consider the following statements with respect to writ jurisdiction. 1. Writ jurisdiction of High Court is broader than Supreme Court. This is true because High Court has writ jurisdiction of both fundamental rights and ordinary legal rights, whereas Supreme Court has writ jurisdiction of only fundamental rights. Statement number 2. Parliament may empower any other court other than Supreme Court to exercise writ jurisdiction for enforcement of fundamental rights. This is also true. So the answer is C. Both. Thank you.